We're here at the Grand Hotel in Blackpool and uh, we're about to watch Chris Melling against Andrew Patchett. I'm joined on comms by Morgan McInnes. Afternoon, Morgan. Afternoon. Looking forward to a good game here. Always fireworks when uh, when Chris Melling's on the table. There's already been a, a, bit, a bit of drama from what we hear. It, uh, something happened on the lag, I'm not quite sure what. Apparently they lagged and um, <clears throat> the referee said Chris had done something so he had to lag again and he just uh, tapped it. Tapped the ball and gave away the lag, so I don't know. It looks like he's going to be punished for it as well. Yeah. No, but um, Andrew's quite. He's not. He's nobody's similar to Melon, but he's attacking as they come on the tour. So no, we've got a firework of a game on our hands. Yeah, a player that um, I've not seen a massive amount of. I saw him. I saw him a bit in the challenge. I know he used to play a lot of money matches. I've seen a, a couple of his games, but. Um, he did well in the Challenger over last year and um, earned his place in the Pro Series. And he's definitely a tough player. As you say, one of those fast, aggressive players who can take it away in the blink of an eye. But he's up against one of the best at doing that. And Chris Melling. Mm, yeah, you'll not hang around as Andrew. I don't think you really care that he's playing Chris either. No. And... Um, there's a few games just getting underway. Jordan Shepard's won the first frame against Brian Halcrow. And um, Neil Raybone about to get underway against Gary Clark. Oli Bell about to start against Carl Boys. And one other game which is on table three is Rob Warren against Ryan Lambeth. So we'll keep an eye on all those scores. Just left this a bit, bit awkward, Mark. Yeah, that is... Oh, has he flicked He's it? He's flicked it. Oh, that's not going to like Chris's move. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You know what? That's what Chris gets for giving away the lag, I suppose. <laughs> but, oh, no. We're going to have full-on fist fights in this game. <laughs> <laughs> what a start. To be fair, honestly, Andrew had like a proper roadmap finish there, and he's just left himself wrong side on his second last yellow. Left himself bridging. Change it a bit normal. Yeah. Try there. Mm. So straight away, I mean, you know Andrew's got a chance in this game just by the kind of little antics that Chris has kind of put into play. With the lag, even just talking to the ref about the cue ball there, just seems like his head's not in it already. Yeah, and Andrew will love that. Give him a great chance to um, to pick up on that. The the yellows are the ball that he's going to go for. The reds were pretty much there. It was the, the, the one red that was above that yellow that was going to cause him a big headache. So mm. he only really had that one yellow as an opener. And um, he's taken it. And they're all there now. It's a bit, it's a bit fiddly. Yeah, that's not good. I was going to say it's a top bit right, fiddly. Yeah. He's still got a ball to top right. Yeah, you need to be taking these out if you're to beat someone like Chris. Yeah, well, that's okay. He needs to cut this ball to the same pocket to the top right, come round off two, and then it should be done. So this is pretty much frame ball here. Yeah, if he gets his clearance, it won't like lighten Chris's mood because that was a little bit fortunate to be able to leave that ball. The top corner. It could have gone right. I think I'd have gone bottom right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. He's got he's got a choice of either ball really. I mean, he can mm -hmm. do the one to middle and run through. He's got the one to to top right as well. We, we saw your game earlier um, against Luke Gilbert. You, I mean, you didn't actually do too much wrong in that game. Um, that yeah. one, obviously the eight ball that you just o overcut slightly. Yeah, I mean, it was a poor shot. I knew the cushions were playing quite, they weren't as reactive. And I've, I've just landed short and I shouldn't, I should never have been short. I should have made sure to leave myself high if possible. Um, but yeah, I mean, that frame, then I got, I got lucky and for 5-3, but Luke, 
looked looked broke better. Um, his cue ball wasn't fantastic. He'll tell you that himself. Yeah. The screw just widened the angle and left me yeah. a bit too much angle. Um, but yeah, I managed to make the pot and get the frame. But then again, Luke, I think Luke dished quite a few frames. So like, yeah, yeah. I mean, fair credit to him. He's he's a really good player. I like watching Luke. He's a really lovely guy as well, and he deserves everything after winning that event. I mean, he was in the Challenger Series the first year, never won one. He was the one player not to win one and go pro. Yeah. So then to come and win a pro event, yeah, yeah he's obviously put in a lot of time. And I mean, I've said it a number of times before. It's, it's been great to see his journey because it's been, it's been a kind of organic journey. I mean, I know mm -hmm. he had, he had um, um, titles, he had junior titles before before he came onto my Ultimate Pool. But he's kind of built his career, and it's been an organic growth of kind of starting in the Challenger Series and getting through and just kind of just been getting better and better as the seasons have gone on yeah, totally. and I think for a lot of players that are, have come up over the last year or so they can they do well to sort of emulate what he's done and just just grow and get better yeah, I mean, exactly like I remember him um, I used to room share with Gio and Gio beat him at one tour and he wasn't brilliant but he's definitely better than what he is than what he was then so it looks like he's just kind of he's just taking the tour as it is he's putting in the time for the tours and he's he's getting the results so no I've got a lot of time for people who properly put in time and dedicate themselves and just going back to this game I mean another super chance for Andrew Patchett yeah, he's, his white ball's not been great so far it's not absolutely not he's definitely not had this it this is a string. big frame though it's one of those ones where if he doesn't get this it could easily be 3-2 Melling yeah. in 5 minutes yeah. I think he's overran that a little bit, which isn't great because that, that yellow's not nice to get on. That's okay. Mm. Just needs to take a lot of care over this one. It's a transition from one ball to the next in these top two. I think that's probably about perfect. I take it the top ball goes past. Yeah, I think. I mean, if it did, you've already stunned it a bit more, I think, and gone through a bit further. But I, I think, think he's, he's okay. Yeah, screw straight back. Yo. There's a lot of traffic. Yeah, there is. Just needs to to navigate. It's a fairly natural angle. Well, not not quite natural, but there was a decent angle through the middle of the table. He's played it well. I don't think I would have played it like that. No. He's kind of played it with top left. But no, and yeah. Another finish by Andrew. He's held himself together. I mean, his cue ball it, it isn't picture perfect, does it? But it doesn't really need to be. All that matters is, is if you put the black. Chris doesn't like the cut break, does he? No. No. I have seen him play it but really yeah oh, sorry very rare very rare wow it's not happening for him no i mean even andrew's got like a shot right now to get into this, the bad red if he wants to go reds i mean you could go yellows here and then you're leaving yourself to a double on the black he needs to get high on the yellow at the top of the table yeah i think probably reds yeah i think you'll no, he's not taking it on there. He must stun this and then go yeah, into top it. left and then leave the angle just to come into the into the yellow. Then you guarantee the red into mm -hmm. the opposite middle. I like the way he's playing this. He wants to wants to cannon really cannon the yellow. Um, yeah, he doesn't want to go behind them. He wants to cannon the yellow pretty much full ball and hold the cue ball there. Just needs to release it. Yeah, just like so. Yeah. That was the issue. Just going into that, you're never guaranteed to be on it. I think I would have cut that ball, he's just potted their first shot and gone in. You've kind of got two balls in the middle of the table then. Yeah, is he on this? The problem is he needs to, just even if he's again. on this, he still needs to get back on that ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine going down here. But then you've got a transition between that top red and the black. Yeah, there's definitely work to be done here now. Is he going up for it now? No, he's not. I could have done with another half a roll as well. Yeah, his cue ball's not been, not been picture perfect, but he's been potting the balls, which is the main thing. He's going to bring the black could, out here. Yeah, could bring the eight ball out here, for sure. Mm. That's nice. Now, 
He's just trying. Just got enough angle, I think, to punch across. But there's so many yellows in the way. How do you find a line here? I think I'm going to go top and come off the bottom cushion. Try and go through the room with the, the eight ball spotters. Yeah. I think he's standing over, though. I'm going to just scream straight back. Found the line. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, you could just oh, beautiful, yeah. focus on the cue ball there and uh, focus on the pot. Wow. 4 now. We might have an easy um, shift on our hands here. If he gets on a roll. Proper crunch then. Yeah, didn't he ever? Oh, he's a little bit more of a tricky finish for him. I mean, he's only got one real bad ball on yellows, I suppose, and he could try and dislodge it, could even double it. Yeah, I think... Yellows aren't too bad. As you say, he's got that, that tricky one on the cushion. There are a couple of balls that he could try and move it, but it is there for a double. What a massive frame this is. I mean, I mm. know it's easy to say, you know, four frames ahead already. No, you don't want to give Chris anything. Oh, exactly. he's hit the front knuckle there as well. You don't want to give him a sniff. No, not at all. I mean, I'm I'm probably thinking of trying to dislodge this by putting the one to the middle and just just because it's, it's quite a nice distance away. It's not yeah. it's not welded on the cushion. You should be able to bring that out and you should have one of the balls to the top left as well. If you can get on this now. No, he's that's not, that's not. That's not the angle. No, I think he might have got away with this and still be on the one to the middle. So he's just going to have to double this if he if he's on there. I think he is just. Mm. I wonder what he was playing for there because he doesn't seem to be close to much. Yeah, he just had to turn it over slightly. Problem is now he's he needs to try and get on the double now. Yeah. Because you don't want to leave the double till last because transition to the eight ball again is not perfect. Yeah, this is tough now. Eight ball does go bottom left, doesn't it? Um, is that how yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Seems to be playing for him. I didn't realize, I thought he had slightly more angle than that. I didn't realise he could hold. Yeah. I think he's okay. Just okay. I mean, his, his position on the eight ball here, if he makes a double, is not going to be ideal. But at this point, you're just you need to you need to punch. It's one of those you just need to punch it a bit to straighten yeah. it up, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Total. Ooh. Forgot about the eight ball. Hmm. He's already popped the ball off three cushions though. I oh, know he's just going to come bottom cushion maybe. Try and clip it in the middle. I wonder if Chris gets to the table here, how his, uh, his kind of like attitude would be towards it. If he's just going to run around the table. This would be a killer blow if he gets it mine. Nah, no. miles away. It's tough with these cushions because they do play much different to uh, a Supreme winner, which I'd imagine the whole tour probably plays on. be one of those turning points did not want to give Chris Melling a sniff at 5-0 you feel all of the work is pretty much done but at 4-1 Chris breaking in the next if he can start to find his break then Andy could be in trouble mm, that was a lovely shot the previous one to leave himself an angle just makes everything so much easier it's a healthy lead though it is but Andrew will know that Chris is, it's Chris he's playing, you can't really give him much at all. And you'd think that, ooh, just a bit careless. <laughs> a 
nonchalantly pops it into the top mm. right pocket. Yeah. Was it ever in doubt? Five frames played, and uh, Chris Melling in the fifth frame gets his first one on the board. Can't remember. He had some yeah. big ones. I can't remember who he, who he beat in um, event one. He had two big results in his first couple of games in event one. Oh, that was a cut break. But I don't know why he just tapped them. No. Hmm. But yeah, Ryan's had a really good start. He plays enough to, um, he's always going to be sharp, which is good. Extension. Extension call. This, isn't, this isn't ideal. The problem with, in this situation is Andrew's that attacking. He's, he's still going to go for these, I think. Yeah, look, he's just, yeah. And that's just going to play right into Chris's hands. He, I don't think Andrew's got a, an off switch. And he's going to cut this to the top left, and if he doesn't get it, it's, they're just going to be routine for Chris. Yeah, in his first uh, first match in event one, he beat Ian Alley. That's right. I knew there yeah. was a there was a big one. I think he did the same again in event two. If my no, nah, he's not there. Now he's got he's got fairly lucky there that the yellow's gone tied. I mean, look, Chris has just tapped the table, saying good shot. <coughs> I wonder if Chris could cut this to the middle right and avoid the red sitting on the brown spot to go into it if he wanted to. I mean, he could actually, you know what, he's going to clear these up and he's going to use the ball in the, on the blue spot to go up and play for the yellow to the middle right because he was looking at the angle there just a second ago. That's the only thing I could be critical of Andrew is he, when he's attacking and, and they're there, he's, he's brilliant. He's um, yeah, such a good potter, but there's not an off switch with him when it's just a bit too much. There's nothing wrong with just turning over. I mean, Chris will probably go for them if you if you turn over um, the play to Chris. Oh, he's gone too far. Yeah, it seemed like a big bounce actually. Yeah. It seemed to explode off that side cushion. Yeah, Chris. He just wanted to be straight so he could play that middle left bottom left and then have the angle to go up table but he's actually in a bit of bother now mm. he could just knock the one on and off the cushion couldn't he yeah yeah, yeah. is he doubling this no he's gonna oh he's doubling it yeah i was with you i thought he was gonna just cannon into the yellow and play it on and off That's, oh my gosh. He's he's butchered a ball and it's still gone. But the problem is, is or not the problem, like this white ball's nowhere near where he wanted it to be. Yeah. <laughs> Tough to control this, this cue ball now. Very. I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to try and hold off the red? Is he going to try and kick into the yellow? Nah. Did not react to anything like he expected it to. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was playing there. Just a cannon into the. Was he trying to cannon to the yellow? Red. Oh, uh, the red. Yeah. Oh, right. I see. Come up, cannon. I think he was trying to half ball cannon the red. Yeah. To leave the cue ball in bolt. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only thing is, like playing that shot is it's so hard, isn't it? Because if you full ball the red, you're leaving yourself nothing. If you f just flick the red, you're going behind the, the other red to the top right of the table. Oh gosh, here we go. Looking for a bit of magic. Nah. No. No. Oh, oh, push those two balls into a plant as well. Yeah. Red keeps picking something off the table. I'm not sure what's what's going on. Yeah. He's just going to sit in behind them and. I think he's playing the plant. To yeah, the top play, left, yeah, play the top left plant. Those must just be slightly offset to top right. Yeah, I think the red he would be hitting would be kind of going towards the cushion, which yeah. isn't that bad. I mean someone of Andrew's pot and standard he'd, he'd be able to take them out anyway but it's just the way he, you, the way he sees it isn't it well 
Well, I don't think we'll be getting uh, six red this game. Even if Chris makes a comeback. <laughs> no. 31 minutes left. It's been quick paced. So Andrew Patrick now to re-establish a four frame lead. Simple eight ball. No, this is a big break. And it is a big oh. break. Oh, kicked it off. Oh, look at It was dry as well. Chris doesn't really have a starter red if he wants to go reds. Does he? Could he... Could he place the red in between the two reds in the top left? He's going yellows. Yeah, I think... Um, play this yellow and <coughs> get the... Is that yellow pass? It must pass. It must do, yeah. It must just squeeze past. Mm. I didn't, th didn't think it did. I must say, I thought he was going to run across and... I don't even think he came down to the bottom of the table to check. No. Yeah. It must do. Maybe when you're as good as Chris, you just... think everything goes somewhere, don't you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you can drop this in... It's a little bit tricky, because if you, if you touch that red, it's not going to go... No, no, sir. Mm. That was, yeah. I mean, Andrew's not in a great position here either. He could just play a little safety shot. No, I don't think he will, but he could just play in behind the red on the top cushion and, and bring the other, the red he's contacting across to cover the one over the bottom right, but mm. I'm not sure that's... Um, he might have... He might have to play the double to the top right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's gonna I think he needs to attack because if Chris pots that one to the top left, he's got the connection. That's the ball. issue, isn't it? I mean even if you play a safety there, no, there's he's, um, it. Oh. he's gotta play something. Nope. Yeah, I mean he's put in a little bit of a tricky situation there, wasn't he? Yeah. He had to find an attack somehow. You're absolutely right. I mean, even if he plays the the little covering shot there. Chris has got a one cushion escape. Almost certainly going to pop the ball over the top left, and uh, there wasn't a lot in it for him, so had to try and find a way to attack. Can't see any problems here. Cowboys is pull things back. He's all square now at three each against Odie Bell. Well judged. Simple enough but uh, judged it to perfection. got a game on our hands. He's absolutely crunched those. I think he made, yeah, he made three yellows in different bags. These are fairly routine for someone of Chris's stature. Yeah, it so often happens when uh, you pop three of one ball set and you quite often go for the other. Yellow on the side cushion is awkward. Reds are all open, so mm, and that's. I didn't know that was going to get there, but it's perfect. The red just to the left of the eight, eight ball spot is a little bit tricky. Unless he can do. Oh, does it go to? Don't think it goes to middle, but he can. Yeah, he can, he can top this through now into yeah, the. Go through the gap. Probably. 
I don't know if he'll just come up and cannon the, the yellow maybe and leave it to middle. No, he won't cannon the um, the yellow in case he pushes it over the red. Fair play with that shot, that's yeah. just a little bit risky for my life. Yeah. Nice. I suppose he always had it to the top left off the yellow if he needed, but 5-3. Oh my. Oh lordy. Oh god. What the, what's he played there? I don't know. But, I, but I, I, I don't understand why he's not just come back into centre table, around the blue spot, and yeah. just play it into the middle. He had an angle there to punch across, surely. Yeah, but to be, it looked like it was just a going to go welded behind that yellow, but then it popped out again. But to be fair, it's, I don't know what he's... I have no idea. Shouldn't Surely shouldn't have been anywhere near that why yellow. Why was he playing at top top right anyway? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, he had an angle. I, I think, you yeah. know, just, just punch, stun it across and... And leave the leave the cue ball on the yeah. on the blue spot. He, he did he did certain little things like this against me. I just don't understand it. Like he played just an absolute wild shot and left himself nothing. What's he picking it's like out? it's yeah. it's like it's too easy for him sometimes. Just playing a little safety shot. Actually, that's a that's a very mm. clever shot. Yeah, he's, I mean Andrew's not under any pressure here though. No, he's not. I not mean, at all. he's going to leave him the one cushion back heel into the right middle. But if you can judge them on these cushions, you deserve it. Andrew's just happy to get back to the table. Like he he yeah. chalked that frame off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's crazy. That's nice. It stops the. Oh, yeah, I think you'd have just liked it a nice. little. Just don't play in it. If you could have got that cue ball another four inches up the table, you would have covered the pocket. The, the oh, yellow, the yellow, sorry. yeah. To be fair, it's probably, um, yeah. No. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, okay. I mean, Andrew will just take this. He'll, uh, I think he's just going to leave himself low on the yellow to the left centre and leave himself a double. I would be, I would not be leaving myself the, the cut on the cushion there. Yeah, that's it. He's coming out. That's fine, that's fine. Do you think there's ever... Uh, oh no, I mean this is e easy enough double, but I just... I wonder if there's ever an option to... play the yellow off the eight ball, because the eight ball is just destined to push that yellow up the cushion but I guess that's too much danger yeah. when, when you've got a when you've got a pretty much dead set double. It's a fairly easy double. Yeah. Like it's nowhere near the cushion. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just no need. That's a ridiculous I've got no words like no, I, I think it's maybe just a bit too easy for him at times. Like he just takes it for granted. Yeah I've seen Connor put it on Facebook he needs he's gonna be playing with glasses or something. Yeah. So maybe he was struggling with his eyesight. Yeah. Is this the chance that Andrew needs? No got an opener. He's got an opener on either yellows or reds. You feel... I mean, you could probably make a case for either here. Yeah. It, it's one of those finishes you need to be at the table to know the angles. Yeah. That, like, if balls go, like, uh, does that yellow that he's closest to now, where, where, what's his plan for that? Yeah. Does the one go to the bottom left? He's playing a plant here. Yeah. This could go a little bit wrong. No, he's hit it. He's hit it quite hard. He's okay. He's played a good pace, actually. Yeah. Just needs to make sure he can hold for that one. As you say, the the problem balls are one on the right hand side between those two reds. He's a plan for that ball. It's all right. Nice angle to come down. I'm not sure. Um, even trying to get onto it into the middle right isn't ideal. No. I mean, if he comes down to just above the black, uh, the eight, sp eight ball spot, um, he could just pot the one bottom left and go one cushion. He's overhit it if he's trying to do that. I think. Oh no, he's got a nice angle. White ball just deviated there. Is he on it now to the middle right? I think he is. Wow. Yeah. It's just one of those games is everything's kind of going Andrew's way. In a, in a way, I mean, he does. He completely deserves it. Yeah. But when it when you think of the first frame, yeah, flicking the ball, he's at the rub. Yeah.
that looks perfect. Well, he's given us a, a quick uh, quick match. Beautiful. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> and Chris. Maybe Chris just wants to go home, I'm not sure. But I'll apologise for everyone who came to watch Chris Mellon, because <laughs> Chris is still in China, it seems. Take nothing away from Andrew Patch. No, not at all, because he, he dished. He dished the first four, didn't he? He was, he was brilliant. So, no, well done, Andrew. Very, very solid performance.